Happy New Year guys, I'm here with Spencer and I'm going to go over a sweep that I've been using now from the flower, which is what I call the old school flower. And if you're familiar with Eddie Bravo, 10th Planet System, you know, they have a half guard series where uh, with sweeps, where they do the rolling sweep and then when the person counters the rolling sweep, they go to what they call the old school. So same concept, but now we're applying it from the closed guard using the flower sweep. And we could actually do this in one of two ways, which I'll go ahead and show you now. So let's go ahead and break it down. So I'm just doing my traditional flower sweep. Okay, I'm gonna hook the far leg here. So I'll twist a little bit like this. So I'm gonna scoop under, control the outside of the tricep, heel on the hip, doing my spin, bringing my head to his knee. Okay, getting a lot of twists, trying to control his arm so he can't post this leg high under his shoulder so that I can lift. Boom, and sweep here. So ideally that's what I want, okay? But for whatever reason, your flower sweep goes wrong, maybe my foot's too low, or I'm not able to control this arm well enough, so I'm trying to get him here and I can't. So now the arm that's normally hooking the leg, the near leg here, is gonna release, and it's gonna look for the far leg. Okay, so normally I'm controlling this leg here, I'm gonna switch and catch that far ankle. And now, even if I'm low in the hip, it's a real easy sweep, okay? And I don't even need the arm at this point. You know, if your posture's really strong here, go ahead. Anybody's gonna go down really easy from there, okay? So, again, yeah, flower sweep, you get jammed, look for the far ankle, and then your foot could be anywhere you want. It could be high, it could be right in the hip, Okay, he'll, he'll go down real easy, and then from here, just ride it to the mount, and then I can also drop back, get my arm bar as well, okay? Now there's one, uh, well there's a situation here where I can go for this, you know, and maybe the foot's not there. Like right now, he's basing like this. If his base was reversed, so it's like, you know, leg like, up, oh. now you might not be able to catch that leg, right? So now you think, oh, well, Sweep's no good anymore. Well, a few things here, okay? One, if I'm like this, you could look to go into the elevator next. Since that leg is up, sweep them there, okay? And then two, what you, if you might have paid attention, you saw what I did, is that I'll old school this leg, okay? So right, if I can't catch that one, I'll catch this one, pull it in. That's gonna make it base real weak on this side. So all I need to do now is get a little push over here. And since his arms are all the way on that side, he's really weak here. So since that leg is up, I can elevate it. Boom, sweep him over. The landing of this one is not gonna be as nice. There's gonna be a little bit of a scramble involved, but you can just grab the leg, come up, maybe go back from ankle lock, okay? So again, that one, I go for, my flower, he's base. I try to reach for that old school. I can't. I'm gonna old school this side. And if we turn a little bit this way, all I'm doing here, this leg's on a butterfly hook, lift up, take him over. If he comes up again, and you can get a little more creative with it. It doesn't have to be an elevator. I mean, I could even have like a scissor, kick him over. I just need a little bit of a push over here. I mean, even as much as just pushing with your arm, okay, because he literally has nothing holding him up on that side, okay? So that's using the old school from the flower sweep, either reaching for the far leg, which is ideal, or you can reach for the near leg as well.